guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberg. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And who doesn't love Subway? My go-to is turkey on honey oat with Swiss cucumber, lettuce, tomato, oil vinegar, and oregano. Oh, my go-to is like Italian and cheese, it's like a freaking Italian DMC, put a spice in it, put a little bit of honey mustard. That's the way I like to do it. So good. And it'll be getting even better soon once they remove a plastic-based additive called azodiacarbonamide from their bread. <laughs> what? Wait. Am I eating plastic? Yep, all of us were. You, me, you at home sitting there at your laptop with the hair and the eyes. That is until food babe Vani Hari, a popular food blogger who managed to get 57,000 signatures on a petition demanding Subway not use azodiacarbonamide from their bread. Good news though, Subway listened and said they will be removing the chemical used in yoga mats and shoe rubber. Not only is it gross to eat plastic bread, the World Health Organization has linked this chemical to respiratory issues, allergies, asthma, and it's already banned in Europe and Australia. Now, Subway just joined Michelle Obama's Partnership for a Healthier America, has an American Heart Association logo stamped all over their marketing, and has more than one Olympic athlete showing how healthy their food is in TV commercials for the Olympics. I think it's pretty cool that they're owning up to this and really making healthier food, although it does make you wonder what else they're sneaking in to save a buck. Wait a minute, isn't the food babe the same blogger that took the yellow out of Kraft macaroni and cheese? Yeah! It never looked the same again! What if after all this the Subway bread doesn't taste good because it doesn't have the rubbery goodness in it? The chemical isn't a taste though, Steve. It just puts air in the dough so that you can use crappier dough. So really, it's just gonna get better. Plus, companies in Singapore that use this chemical in food can be fined up to $450,000 or be put in jail, so that can't be good. Nah, I'm not convinced. Do you guys think the stuff they put in Subway sandwiches is a big deal or do you not give a shit? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, I'm on board with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com, see our typed out stuff. You can go to all of our other channels like Nerd and see all the stuff there. My name's Trisha Hershberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Ooh, baby, I can't leave you. I don't care what they put in you. They could put poop in you and still eat you. You would not eat poop. I think we do every day anyway. Rat really? droppings, yeah. Rat man. droppings and stuff and Pesticides. like restaurant foods and stuff. Do you know stuff? we have mites living on our eyelashes that poop too? Do you know you swallow eight spiders a year? That's bullshit. I don't believe that. Okay.